To the lower left of the drawing area is the Project Browser. The Project Browser shows a hierarchical list containing all of the views, legends, schedules quantities, sheets, families, groups, and links in your current project. You can think of the Project Browser as a table of contents for your project. Each branch in the Project Browser can be expanded or collapsed to see the contents of that branch. Pay attention to the word in parentheses next to Views and Sheets. This simply indicates the browser organization that is being used for that branch. When you select one of the branch headers, you can change the organization in the type selector. For example, select Views All. Now the type selector displays Browser Views. You can also see the organization, and you can expand the type selector to choose another organization. Leave it set to All. The project browser can be resized. It can also be undocked and moved anywhere in the drawing area or desktop. It can be docked to any edge of the drawing area or even pulled onto a second monitor. It can also be combined with the Properties palette to create a single panel. When combined with the Properties palette, you can switch between the two by using the tabs at the bottom of the panel. To restore a singular project browser, click and drag the tab into the drawing area. You can close the project browser by clicking its Close button. To re-display it, switch to the View ribbon, expand the User Interface button, and then select Project Browser. Realize that you can also close the project browser by clearing this checkbox. When working in Revit, the name of the current active view appears bold within the project browser, although that view may not be visible in the list if its view branch is currently collapsed. Again, you can click any branch in the project browser to expand or collapse that branch. You can also use the Project Browser to open views and navigate between views. When you double-click a view, it becomes the new active view. If that view was not yet open, it will automatically open when you double-click the view name in the Project Browser. You can also select the view in the list, right-click, and then choose Open in the shortcut menu. When you right-click a view in the Project Browser, the shortcut menu displays other tools that enable you to apply template properties, duplicate views in various ways, delete views, rename views, and so on. When you right-click items in the Project Browser in other branches, the shortcut menu provides different tools. For example, when you right-click the Sheets branch, you can add a new sheet. You can right-click Legends to add a new legend, or you can right-click Schedules Quantities to add one of the many schedules that Revit provides. When you are working on a specific sheet, the shortcut menu will contain tools for adding or removing views, and so on. In addition, you can search the project browser. Right-click any branch header or branch, and a search option appears in the shortcut menu. For example, right-click Views and select Search. The Search in Project Browser dialog appears. Type in the word or phrase you are searching for, such as Level 1, and then choose Next or Previous to search the project browser. Revit expands all branches and highlights a view, legend, schedule, sheet, family, group, or link relating to your search. Click Next to display the next instance in the project browser, or Previous to scroll backwards.
There is also an option to match case if you want the search to be case sensitive. Once your search is complete, you can select Close to exit the dialog, or once all the instances have been found, a message will appear stating that Revit has finished searching the project browser.